Hi there, it's Morden from PC Gamer, and I'm here to break down the best settings for CD Projekt Red's long-awaited RPG, Cyberpunk 2077. Easily the most anticipated game of the year, Cyberpunk has already had its shares of ups and downs in the short time since release. Night City's dense city streets and massive skyscrapers are truly a sight to behold, but they're also a significant burden on even the most powerful rigs you can build at the moment. It's certainly possible to play the game on low-end hardware, but you'd be missing out on CDPR's full vision of the future. Speaking of vision, one of the first things you should do is turn off chromatic aberration. The idea is to draw your eye to the center of the screen by blurring the edges, but Cyberpunk's implementation goes way overboard and just ends up looking kinda bad. It won't affect performance much, but your eyes will probably thank you. In fact, most of Cyberpunk's basic graphical settings had little impact on overall performance in our benchmarks. Things like contact shadows, anisotropy, mirror quality, and level of detail amounted to a measly 2% gain in our benchmarks when set to their minimums. You can comfortably crank these up without stressing your hardware. But luckily, there are a few settings that you should look to for big gains. Screen space reflections is a big one here, amounting to a 12% performance boost when turned off completely. Reflections are nice, but a smoother frame rate is even nicer. You don't need that rearview mirror anyway. The other big ones, as you might have guessed, are volumetric fog resolution and volumetric clouds. With both cranked down, you should notice something like an 11% FPS boost. Trust us, Night City is plenty moody even with unimpressive fog. If you have an RTX card, DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling is your best friend in Cyberpunk. NVIDIA's fancy tech uses AI learning to predict how frames and surfaces should look and feeds them to you in real time, resulting in a nicer image without a hit to FPS. Set to quality mode at the ultra preset, you could see performance jumps up to 50% at 1440p. It's not perfect, but it's certainly worth a little blur here and there. DLSS is also the best way to take advantage of Cyberpunk's ray tracing, without tanking performance that is. At 1440p, flipping on ray traced shadows, reflections, and lighting with DLSS set to balanced slowed things down for us by about 11%. Without DLSS, it's more like 40 to 60% based on the ray tracing quality preset you have on. Yikes. No matter which way you slice it, Cyberpunk 2077 is going to flex your rig, especially if you're aiming for higher than 1080p. The good news is that you'll probably still like how the game looks, even at modest settings. It's just a pretty game. For more on the best settings for Cyberpunk 2077, read our full guide at PCGamer.com.